I'm going to embark on another project. It consists of assembling a, another power supply. This was sold as a 35 volt, 5 amp power supply. Silk screen says 30 volts at 5 amps. Power input it shows 31 volts AC. This is a very nice circuit board. I've looked over the board and the schematic. It seems to be very conservatively designed. These are the parts. I separated them so they would make some sense. I've been able to find very few references to this power supply. I did find one that recommends replacing these two 10K single turn pots with 10K 10 turn pots. I'm awaiting delivery of some 10K 10 turn potentiometers. The kit designer thought enough of over current protection on the primary of the transformers to provide a fuse holder and fuse. There are some three terminal devices, some three terminal transistors too. Some have heat sinks, some do not. And there's the usual cast of characters, the electrolytics, the diodes, the resistors, a few capacitors. There are two integrated circuits, came with sockets, a couple little TO92 devices. As I try to do when I'm making a kit, I've developed some drawings. The first is an expanded board layout. Now the values are almost all here. Some component designations are here. On this sheet, everything is here. It's a D5, one in 4007, R181K, C12 is 2000 microfarad at 50 volts. So everything ties together value and the component designation, as well as screw terminals and jacks. To go with this, I came up with the bill of materials, and everything that's in the plastic box except for the board itself, is on here. Well, excepting the fuse holder. Everything's on here with a designation and a description. And in some cases, I describe what it's used for. And then, the Chinese uh, schematics I was able to find are not correct. None of them are correct. For example, this power, this circuit up here, requires a center tap transformer. Okay, there's a center tap transformer. It develops 12, well, develops 15 volts or 12 volts. I'm not sure. I can't read it. It looks like it used Zener diodes. This is all wrong. They use a three terminal 7812 or 78 or 7912. The voltage adjust and current device, this is voltage and this is current, show two wires going to a potentiometer. I have found other Chinese schematics that are either just a copy of this or equally incorrect. Can't read them anyway. So I developed some schematics. Actually, three sheets of schematics. This power supply seems to consist of three distinct sections. For example, this entire section is connected to this second section with just three connections. I refer to this first section as a control system. 
the second section, which has the three wires for the first section, as the power system. It contains the pass transistors, the shunt resistors for current determination, filter capacitors. It connects to subsystem number three with just two wires. Subsystem number three comes down here with two wires, develops a 12 volt power supply using a 7812. So it has a power supply section, a relay control section, another relay control section, a fan control section, and a 5 volt utility supply. I've called this the utility system, and it's on sheet 3. Section 1, as I said, can, needs a transformer. Section 2, the power system, needs a transformer. Now this is either a plus or minus 12 or plus or minus 15 volt transformer. I'm going to try a 12. This it, It's recommended this be a 1 amp transformer. I can't believe that this system draws anywhere near an amp. Um, these two wires merely monitor the shunt voltage, the shunt resistor drop, this controls the base of the Darlington, sort of Darlington, driver. There's no way that this can require more than 200 milliamps, I guess. The positive side has a current limiting resistor here, almost 3K. Current limiting resistor here of 3K. That's it connection to the uh, op amp. The negative side connects to the op amp and has a 35k volt current limiter. So I can't see this drawing any current. In any event, plus minus 12 or plus or minus 15. At probably a half an amp, but maybe more. This design uses a tapped transformer. One end we can call zero, and the taps are at 15, 23, and 31 volts. That's almost unobtainium. Uh, we'll get to that, and I'll explain what I intend to do there. The third section just derives its power from the 15 volt tap on this transformer. In addition to the 10K 10 turn potentiometers, I'm waiting for two transformers. I'm waiting for some heavy duty transistors. The pass circuit uses two tip. 3055s. The tip 3055 is rated at uh, 90 watts, two of them, 180 watts, that's not bad, but at 25 degrees C. I've decided to replace them with more robust transistors. And I've ordered these MJW2114s, which have a dissipation of 200 watts, but again, that's at 25 degrees C. Now, I don't think that I can run these transistors at room temperature. So I developed a derating curve for each transistor. And let's say we're operating at 85, between 65 and 85 degrees. The tip 35 is down around 70 watts and ends up at 
54 watts. This is a mouthful, but this fellow <laughs> at 65 degrees is still capable of 150 watts of dissipation at 8, 65 degrees. At 85, he's capable of a little less than 130. I'm going to use these transistors, and I'm waiting for them to come in. I've ordered some transformers. Now, these are domestic. They're sourced to domestically. I don't know if they're I probably of Chinese origin. For the main power transformer, I've ordered a 15 volt times 2, or a 15. It'll have two secondary windings, 15 and 15. 200 VA. Fifty bucks. I've also ordered a 15 and a 15, that is two secondaries, each 15 volts. And, not shown here, is the same transformer in 12 by 12. So I'm waiting for those parts to arrive. And what I'm going to do now is build this circuit. This circuit has the, the uh, split transformer. It's got two three terminal devices, provides plus and minus 12 output. There's a TL431 voltage reference that's fed to two 10 turn 10k pots. This circuit and a 10k potentiometer adjust voltage output. Still a work of in progress. This 10k pot adjusts the current limiting setting. So I can build this entire system and, and test it. And I'll proceed to do that now. Here's everything, uh, what I call the control circuit. Uh, sheet 1. This is it. And these two fellows up here. So we have power in. We have uh, amp control and volts control. And we have amp limit and volt limit. If you want to use this as a 3 amp supply, you can set the amp limit so when you turn this 10k pot the whole way up to 3 amps, trimming it with this. Same way with voltage. This is the LED jack that indicates you're in the constant current mode. And I said I didn't think this circuit was going to draw much current. There are two three terminal regulators here that are provided with heat sinks. The designer did not decide to apply a heat sink to these two, which indicates that we should limit the voltage across them by using maybe 12 rather than 15 volts. But also it indicates there's not much current being drawn, which means not much heat generated. I may be able to put some sort of a heat sink on but there are parts in the way. There's a little uh, voltage reference chip here, the TL431. And then there's going to be a uh, potentiometer like this here. So the heat sink would have to be an extension to the tab. The center section is all, uh, well, with the exception of these, this area here is all on sheet 3, which I call the auxiliary circuits. And then this, you know, most of this, and these capacitors constitute uh, sheet 
2, which I call the power system. So this will be part 1. See what happens.